What's going on YouTube? Welcome to yet another brand new video. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Gilly Nova and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to install your brand new 4060 graphics card onto your computer. So if you have any questions throughout this video, leave a comment below, hit the like button if you guys like this, and if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Alright, let's get this video started. Let's see what's inside the box. Wow. Oh, that's so beautiful guys. So I'm gonna show you guys an overview before I go to the next steps. This right here is the back. This is gonna go outside of your case. As you can see right here, we have one, two, and three display ports and one HDMI. This is going to be your bottom right here. Remove the plastic and then this is going to attach into your motherboard. So it's gonna look like this when you go inside. And then this right here, this is going to connect to your PSU. As you can see, this is an eight pin. You're gonna connect it to this cable. It's basically like connecting your phone to a charger. It's very easy, very simple. I'm gonna show you guys in the next clip. Alrighty YouTube, so this is my current case. This is my 3070. We are now going to remove our old graphics card. But before we do anything, touch something metal so it neutralizes yourself. Otherwise, your computer may not work. So first things first, we're going to remove our old graphics card. Okay, so I'm gonna do an example again. Push the latch down on the very top. There should only be one latch, and it should come up fairly easily like that. So just to recap, there should be a latch on the very top. If you're trying to remove it, push the latch down, and then pull your graphics card. If you want to place your graphics card in, push your graphics card really hard, and then you should hear a latch connecting to it. So now let's go try it with our 4070. Make sure that the pins are aligned to the motherboard. Once it's aligned, just push down until you hear a click. And as I mentioned earlier, your box should come with this 12 pin connecting to two 8 pins. Let's go connect that again, the very top, should be very easy. Once that's connected, connect your two 8 pins from your PSU to your graphics card. So in this case, this is how mine looks like. I'm just going to connect them together, should be very easy. And for my case, I have a 6 plus 2 pin. You can easily connect this as well. You may also have an 8 pin also. It also doesn't matter which way you do it, as long as it's connected. Alright YouTube, and there you have it. Now you have your PSU and your graphics card connected together. Just hide these cables, make sure it's not hitting any fans, and let's turn on our computer and download some drivers. Alright YouTube, so now that we have our computer turned on, we're gonna go to NVIDIA's website, we're gonna go to Drivers, GeForce Drivers, click on that, then just select Download Now, and then once that's downloaded, we're gonna open up our file. You can see right here, it's downloading right now. Um, agree and install. So it's gonna take some time. All right, so now that that's done, we're gonna select drivers, download. And as you can see here, it was recently released. Today it is December 7th. All right, YouTube, so as you can see on my screen right here, the graphics card driver successfully installed. All you need to do now is to restart your computer and everything should be good to go. So if you thought this video was very helpful for you, please hit the like button down below. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and if you have any questions please leave a comment below or you can reach me on instagram at Gleanova. until next time youtube stay gold